All right, we're recording now. How are How's you? Going, man? Yeah, real good. Awesome. You where are you at? Are you in Charlottesville? Or are you? I am. I mean, I live uh, right off the downtown mall, so just here waiting out, trying to stay healthy. Good. Everybody, everybody healthy in your family? Everybody good? Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, we're all uh, we're all staying healthy so far. Knock on wood. Uh, yeah. Been tough being cooped up, but uh, so far so good. Yeah, I'm more worried about staying sane right now. Just staying yeah. inside all day. No kidding. Uh, so yeah. So what have you been? How have you been uh, staying active and doing much training at all? How are you? Been? I trained a little bit at the beginning of this month when um, I thought there might be a chance we could start back up in uh, July, but it looks increasingly like the that's not going to be the case. So um and now i just i'm i try to go for a run every day or do some push-ups inside but i'm really not doing too much yeah oh it's crazy right uh hopefully this ends sooner than later but i'm not not optimistic about it right now <laughs> no no i'm not i just uh you know hope everyone's doing okay you know it charles is not too bad right now but i think we're doing a pretty good job of staying inside yeah, definitely. Um, everybody in your family doing okay, though? Um, I know your dad's a doctor, yeah. right? Is he? Yeah, my dad's a okay doctor in uh, Virginia Beach, North area. So, um, but yeah, he's he's doing fine. Thanks for asking. Good. Yeah, I saw him. I saw him a few months ago. Just I don't know if he was at a UVA match or something. We ran into each other in the parking lot. I was like, oh, hey. So it was good. Yeah, to see. he still loves. He still loves to come to the matches. He loves it. So. Yeah, that was uh, he was always there, you know. All the championships yeah. I can remember, I he really, really, really missed, really missed the match, especially the big ones. So, yeah, well, that's great. Well, I appreciate you joining me for this, and you know, we're still you're the second one, so I'm still trying to get some of the bugs right. worked out. And um, oh, this is cool for sure. Yeah, trying to you know, try to find as many as many photos as I could. I know I. I was able to fit it into my schedule. I'm pretty busy these days. Yeah, I uh, I, had to, I have to borrow my son's room because it's the best background in the house. You know, got the V saber back here on the wall. So that was one thing we did in quarantine. We were able to uh, get his room done. So. Oh wow! Yeah, it looks great. He's pretty pumped about it. We were a little worried about the orange paint for a while, but it actually looks really nice. So. Yeah, that was like. My second year, I I decided, or I didn't decide, but our coach said, I think we should do away with the uniforms because it's just not a good color, you know, on people. But. I know you guys were always wearing all white. Is that a – what was the decision there? Yeah, just, we, we, would go, we would go all blue or mostly blue during regular season, and then for postseason, ACC, and NCAAs, we'd go all white. Is there a reason? No, um some of it because it's hotter and you know we wanted to wear white instead of dark colors and we didn't have orange anymore because it made us look like pumpkins i uh we decided to go all white and it's just easier that way just to you don't have to think about what you need to wear you know just put on all white well that's good all right well i'm going to share my screen here and we're going to go through and uh and, and chat about the photos i'm excited to see what you picked yeah you know it's uh it's just a random assortment here some team stuff some stuff of you and we'll, we'll get your thoughts all right here we go all right well good start huh yeah one of, one of my favorite celebration photos what do you remember about this? That was championship poster. This is the championship poster photo. That's right. It was. Uh, this was actually, yeah. So this is 2016 NCAA finals. Uh, this was in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and we were playing um, Oklahoma in the final. So it was a bit of a way match. And uh, it was on and off raining the whole day. So we actually got delayed a little bit. And as you can see, obviously it's inside. We had to move inside for it, um, which might have helped us a little bit because the indoor capacity was maybe like 750 people right. so like 
all of their fans couldn't come uh, because they just, we didn't have enough space in the building. So that probably helped us. And actually we hit huge traffic on the way to the courts. And like, I started panicking a little bit because, you know, part of our warm got cut, cut off, but it ended up being only because there was a huge delay because of the rain. And uh, you know, cause Brian really liked to stay, um, you know, 30, 45 minutes away from, from the tennis centers during end plays so that we'd have to all get on the bus and kind of have that time on the bus to get our minds right before showing up to the facility, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and it gave him some time to, you know, give us a speech on the bus and stuff like that too. But yeah, this is a, was an amazing day. Henrik right there, he's been on the floor. Um, he actually broke his rib during the celebration. We Mac, the, uh, the guy wearing the hat to his right. Yeah. Um, Swung him down pretty hard, and he actually, actually broke his rib here. He was couldn't play for like three months of the summer because because of this. But um, you know, yeah, this is an moment right here. So great times. I was gonna say you don't want to be on the bottom of that dog pile, right? <laughs> the hard court like that. You don't want to be part of, on the bottom, but you know, just to be a part of it is, is amazing. And look at all we're all there right now. So it's what a moment. All right, you you probably learned. You you were in several dog piles in your in the course of your career, so you probably uh, knew where to be, right? Yeah, uh, no, I never was on the bottom, thank God. <laughs> All right, let's see what the next one is here. Ooh, mm. poster. I believe this was a poster shoot, right? Yeah, I think so. So, any any recollections of that day? Um, I showed up to this shoot with, uh, without my racket. So this is actually not even my racket. That's what I remember most about this. Um, and I remember JC being a little upset that he didn't get to be in the middle, <laughs> but um, otherwise, no, this is, this is a cool shoot. Um, yeah. yeah. Try to, try to yeah. highlight the trophies, you know? Yeah. No, this is, this is real cool. I, I like the no smile. I think that's well, – we don't look that tough, but, you know, it would be tough if we're tougher guys. <laughs> I, got, I got one coming up here that we'll talk about tough in just, just a second. All right, let's see what we got here in this one. Is this your first championship? Was this – Yeah, this, this one is my favorite of the three championships because uh, I feel like this is the one where we were the most underdogs, I guess. Um, the last two years, I felt like, you know, we were definitely by far the best team kind of, okay, we need to win. And this one, it was not unexpected, but definitely, uh, felt like we really earned this one. And it was in Waco, Texas. It was wildly hot. So it was harder. And, uh, the number one player for us there to my right, Ryan Shane, he played unbelievable the whole two weeks. He won the NCAA singles that next week. So we had an incredible team there. Very, very cool. All right. That was one of my favorite memories, just being there. And I mean, all of, yeah, all, of the, all of the tennis tournaments are, I, everybody asks me what my favorite event to shoot is. And I always say it's NCAA tennis because it's just a, that week is just awesome. Like there's so That's many. Big honor, man. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, it's fun. Like, it's just the ups, the downs. Like, there's so many – there's always rain, you know. There's just so many, like, elements to it. It's a, it's a really emotional week, and you're there for the whole week with us. I mean, it's it's a long week, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's it's always incredible. And, luckily, three of the four rides were pretty good for me, at least. Yeah. I mean, that was – and it's always so hot. <laughs> oh, so brutal in May, late May. But yeah, this was this was a good one. Um, I I really remembered that one a lot. Um, but we're we're going to this one. This is what we're talking about looking tough. Now nothing says tough like Mitchell Frank in the front of that photo. This is my freshman year, right? No, this is yeah, this is my beginning of my sophomore year. Wow. Yeah. I was I mean, like, this you one, so you had Colin all over wearing your different kind of teams. We're all wearing different colored shoes, so we don't even look like a team here. And that's, that changed. That was, that was one thing one of our coaches changed. We, he made sure we all had the same uniforms all the time, same shoes. Well, that was yeah, good. This, yeah, this was a good one. 
I remember like trying yeah. to get the oh, Colin didn't get the memo on the end here with the no smile. Look at yeah, him smiling at the end. But what we were this one was hard to shoot because of the shadows. I think we actually ended up using a shot that we didn't have that dramatic light on it. I think it ended up being just one with no um because the shadows were a little too harsh. But I threw that one in there just because I mean, you know. I, when I think tough, I think of Mitch and, and, and Mac right there. They they really uh, have that tough look going. If you knew Mac, he's like, he's not a tough guy ever. So that's funny that you say that. But yeah, Mitchell Frank, what a dog. Yeah. Uh, let's see, where, what else we got in here? Ah, yes. This is, I mean, one of my favorite things about you and I, why, I'm, why I'm glad to have you on here is, I mean, super emotional guy on the court. And, I mean, from, from angry to that, to the joy, like, I, I love photographing you because you were always getting reactions. Yeah, no. I love this shot. A roller coaster for me. And this one, this one means a lot because uh, – uh, I just, I really, I was playing a guy I had never been before and NCAA and, uh, uh, you know, to contribute by winning my match felt pretty good. And it's actually, I think it's, uh, it be the only time, one of only two times that I've fallen to my knees after a match. And it was really like a, it wasn't a thought, of, thought out reaction. It was just immediately the match was over and I kind of just went weak at the knees a little bit. So this was like pretty um, in the moment picture you can capture because I don't know. I, this wasn't like a thought out thing. It was just boom, it happened. Um, the guy filming video for the highlight video filmed it in the opposite uh, direction you are. So he's, I guess, by that chair in the picture and he's filming out and DT is standing kind of, I think, where you're taking the picture and DT goes weak at the knees too so in the highlight video we both go weak at the knees at the same time which i thought was really cool it's very cool yeah it's a it's a great shot um yeah yeah it's an awesome shot man let's see what let's see what else we got and some more emotion here is this yeah. right after this is right when henrik clinched and this is before everyone else got to the court this is probably 10 seconds before henrik gets his rib broken so we're all celebrating here. Um, I got to everyone first because I, I was watching from the sidelines and I kind of I jumped the gun a little bit early. The point wasn't even done when I started. That's why I got there first. And the reason why Colin's there is because he was playing on the next court and watching the point. So he, me and got to Henry first. Matt comes in a couple of seconds later from, and tackles us all to the ground, but mostly Henrik and Henrik. Not a big dude, you know, so it just gets flattened. So, but yeah, this is the moment when you win an NCAA championship for your school, and this is like this is the feeling, I guess. That's great. This is speaking another another one. Um, this yep. one was in this was in Georgia. Yeah, this is our senior year. I think this one was. This one was kind of the end of the dynasty, really, because we had um, five graduating seniors, lost five of our starting six. This was the end of the road for us, and obviously we just really wanted to go out on top, and this was just kind of the last moment we had together winning. So, a bit sad, but all good to go on top. Yeah, I remember uh, there's been a lot of heartbreak at, at those tennis courts in Georgia. So, yeah, I to get this one was for, for Ryan Mullen, but I think it feels really good to win one there. I mean, this was one of those two where it kept like playing indoors there is tough because there's only the the four courts, right? Um, and you were there my freshman year when we lost in the semis, and uh, to go from losing there my freshman year to winning there my senior year that was pretty cool too. Yeah, it's one of my. Um, Georgia, those courts will have a special place for me because um, when I was a, a GA at Marshall, um, their 
women's doubles team made it all the way to the finals and a school like Marshall to make it to the finals um, in Athens. In Athens. And I was there. Um, I had I'd planned on going just for like, I thought we'd be there for like a day or two, you know? I had, I wore the same outfit, like, I don't know how many days in a row. Um, but it was great. I mean, you've been those courts a bunch. I have. And, um, you know, Athens is a great town, a great tennis town. Um, it's definitely one of the best tennis facilities to play in the country. Having Sibylla's there a lot, I think, is moves. It's just special to have it there. Yeah, I really like to shoot there. There's a lot of good backdrops there, other than the indoor. The indoor is terrible to shoot in, but um, – And it's just hot, you know? Yeah. Hot. Super hot. But I remember trying to figure out where to shoot this this final shot from, and this actually worked out perfect because everybody ran right at me. Yeah, you, you got good luck. <laughs> so it was good. Um and then this is another one. This is this this might be my favorite shot of you coming up right here. Oh yeah, this has been this one's a lot. I think yeah, no, this is great. This was in semis uh, playing Ohio State, probably my most hated school. Like these guys were just not cool dudes, you know. And uh, so it was always fun to beat them and. Their coach has never won an NCAA tournament, so just love watching him hang his head and leave here, you know. This feels really good to me because he's a real, you know, I say the word, but he's not a nice guy. And, um, yeah, his, I really didn't like anyone on that team, so that's why I was so fired up. And uh, right here in this moment, they actually they made a bad call, and uh, over, the umpire overruled him. And I turned to their fans. They were standing this way to the court. And I basically just, you know, had a go at them. Um, but, yeah, I think there's, like, in this sequence that you took here, there's five or six different things I'm doing, you know? And, yeah, it's a, great, it's a great sequence. But I love this one, just how the ball's just kind of hanging right there. Um, it was good. I was, glad to, I was glad to be where I was for that. Um, I yelled right towards where you were standing, and um, I think one of them put up a number one. I've used a couple times when UVA basketball became number one. I think I put that photo up. So, yeah, yeah this, you, that got used a lot. I believe the number one. Huh? Yeah. This is the one that got got used when we won the NCAA Blaze too. They put like the right NCAA three peep down under me or something like that. So this is this this could be my favorite photo you've taken of me. All right, cool, good. Like to hear it. Let's see what we got. Oh, what happened here? A little, a little close. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Like this photo, but apparently the vertical orientation does not work with my uh, the slide. Screen share. It was a good picture for sure. Wow, this is another another Athens celebration moment. Is this from the same map? Yeah. Same match. Uh... Yeah, like I said, just really love beating the Buckeyes. Um, yeah, super fired up. It was outdoors too, so it was a big, pretty big crowd for tennis standards, you know. And then we had to move inside, right, to finish. Yeah, we moved inside to finish, and it really only took like five minutes because uh, I think Henrik had match point or something like that. Yeah. I got to ask, what are you? I don't know what's going on here, but talking to the umpire, talking to your opponent, what's uh I'm not sure. My freshman year could have been any number of things. I could have been talking to the coaches, I could have been talking to myself. Um yeah. It was the only year I wore hats on the court, so it's easy to tell which year is which. Um Yeah, you went from after that, you, I got, you went to head much better hair. that, right? I went to the head. I got I went short hair after my freshman, which was good move. Just, just that, you know, good move, good move. Yeah, um, I just like this because it kind of caught it between the two umbrellas. Thought it was kind of a cool shot, so I threw it in. Yeah, this is really cool. Where are you standing during this? Because this this was this was maybe during the semis. So I'm playing down in the bottom three courts down there. So, 
you must be standing up, I guess, yeah. on the top or something down. There's so many yeah. angles in Athens to shoot from, so it's, yeah. it's hard to it's hard There's to stands on all sides, which is really cool. Yeah, but this was this was good. Um, let's see what we got now. Oh, so now now you're a good looking guy, but you make some you make some rough rough tennis faces. So I had to throw one in, you know. Um, there's this one, and there's one. Sometimes before I return serve, I, my mouth really I try to like open my eyes, and you 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 caught me with my eyes open in um, in a group chat or a team. They love to. <laughs> They love to use that as like a now. Like if if uh, if someone says something shocking, they'll they'll put the picture of me with my mouth wide open on it. So yeah, but I I always make wild faces when I when I hit the ball. So this is actually kind to just use this one because I'm sure you have ones that are way worse than this one. There definitely are some worse ones, but yeah, I, I went with this one. I thought this was cool because I remember I had to shoot this like right through the fence. So it's yeah. like. There's like a little opening in the gate, and I was shooting, shooting there. So kind of a cool, cool thing. And then I got to ask about this, the 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 finger tap handshake with. Where did that come from? So this came from um, some of the older guys, probably before I, I pioneered Jenkins, and I think it was Boz. For two years, they didn't high five each other. They just did. Like this, after a big point, they would just they would just go one, and Mac and I were like, "All right, well, we can't copy them, so just do." Two. So we did two. It's it's weird, but um, I don't know. It was just we were very always very tennis. Like the margins are small, and you know, you do anything to kind of like get anxiety team out, and um, you know, this kind of just helped me and Mac kind of relax and just. Um, just remember that you know, kind of all just trying to you know goof around and just that time out there instead of thinking about the moment or the pressure or things like that. So that just helped a little bit. But yeah, it's good you caught that. This was going back to that that shoot with the trophies. I think I actually like this shot better out of the frame. Uh, I think this might have uh, maybe what maybe they didn't make a poster out of this one, but yeah, I really like this shot too. Yeah, I thought that turned out better than the one with the actual trophies. I just kind of like the light on your faces, and I think everything looks pretty good in this one. Yeah. So, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this up. I'm just gonna and I'm just gonna ask you, what was your favorite? Which was your favorite championship? Since we got a championship photo up. Oof. Uh, I mean, 2015 was my first one. Um, and like I, this was 2016. So um, my first, my first one was probably felt the best because um, we weren't, we weren't the favorites, and uh, just, uh, just because you can always call yourself a national champion now. You know, it doesn't. Of course, it's great to win three, but just to win one, you know, it's very difficult. And it was an incredible difference between my first and second year. We made some huge program changes. We cut a lot of guys. Um, so just to have all that payoff was really amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, for the university the first time, that was that was pretty special as well. Right. Yeah, this was, a, this was a good day here that day. I think it's the only one I did one with you. Yeah, I think so. This was I, I loved it. The sky looked good. The this was one of my favorite uh, portrait shots. So I had to throw it up there. This was right after I I was done. I just graduated, and I this was like two or three days after coming back to Charlotte. So after two and a half weeks in Athens, I was still kind of recovering from that. Um, Brian was packing up to leave. Um, we had his farewell party. Um, a few days before this, so it's just kind of wrapping everything up in my college career in Charlottesville and his college coaching in Charlottesville, and uh, actually all three of the coaches, honestly. And uh, yeah, I mean, I was it was a big change in my life in this moment because I'm gonna try to start my professional career, and I just won the singles, so it was, it was a real cool shoot that we 
have the ball there and the individual there and the individual is something I never thought I'd been. And, you know, to, to go out on top of my teammates, it's just good. You know, we, we had five seniors, so it was a long journey we all had together. Just talk about that, the like, two weeks and, you know, I mean, that, that had to be a grind just to, yeah. you know, to win the Let's team. See. And, uh, I mean, how do you just mentally get through that whole to win, you know? Ten, there's 10 matches in the race for me, 10 singles matches in 11 days. And, um, honestly, it was just like another match and, uh, it was all the pressure went off when we won the team championship and um, it was just amazing to that. So then going into the singles, I didn't really have any expectations, but I did know that when I was done, you know, we were all done because all the coaches stayed with me. So we had all three coaches, myself and the trainer. And we knew that, you know, when I, when, the, when I was done, when we were done, it was because it was all the coaches were moving on, was graduating. Um, so it was kind of, it was less about, and I really want to win this tournament, but, and let me win so that we could have another day to, you know, every dinner we would go to, it was like, this is the last dinner. Let's, uh, really try to enjoy it and just be really here in the moment with each other and enjoy each other's company and present. And, um, that was kind of my motivation every time I said, you know, I just didn't want, you know, wearing the V saber to end, uh, so, yeah, I mean, to go out on top again is just an incredible, incredible feeling. Yeah, it was, it, was a lo- it was a long ride. I haven't thought that too much in a few years, so it's good to kind of reminisce right now. Yeah. Especially in this time of, I guess, reflection when we can't do much. Awesome. So I've got one last – I've got a folder that I've just put in. I'm going to try this. I'm going to go rapid fire on this folder. There's some – Maybe some funnier picks, and I think the one of you with the mouth open might actually be in it. So, um, yeah. close this out, and then pull up another one here. And let me get this ready. We're gonna go rapid fire, and just you know, first thing that comes to your mind, just uh, okay. Let's, let's let's see here. Let me select all these and uh, go back to the share. Here we go. All right. Oh, Dad. Dad. I mean, how does his outfit? That's the first thing that comes to mind. Orange pants? That's unbelievable, you know? That's wild. Oh, that's great. Then this is a shoot. What's happening here? This is probably where JC is is saying, how come I don't have to be in the middle? But uh, I'm not sure if this is Canada. And who's in the background there? I don't even know who that is. That's one of my that intern. Person. That's one of my interns probably moving a light around. So, yeah, this is JC's probably saying, "Why is he in the middle?" Richie's doesn't really know what's going on, and uh, Luke is always ready for the pose. So it's good. The room shoot that day. Yeah. I mean, what I don't remember. Do? Where did we take this? Was this the same? That same day? This Must have been. Same day. That's up against one of the white walls in the. At the boar's head. Wow. Right. I didn't even see this photo. Yeah, never never got used. Uncovered from the vault. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. yeah. All right. What is this kid saying in the back? What's he thinking? Um, oh, I'm scaring the children again. Oh. Shoot. Yeah. Definitely. He's definitely, man, I'm never going to play tennis. Look how crazy this guy is. <laughs> this, was, this was 2015 in Waco. This was amazing. Just, I think this is during the double point. Um, actually, Andy Roddick was watching that day. So, because his brother was the head coach of um, So, it was cool to, you know, have someone like that watching us play. And, yeah, just, it's pretty easy to get fired up in NCAA final. Yeah, that's uh, good. Where did the rest of these go? I thought there should be 12. It's only, only four showing up. What happened here? All right, hold on. Let me let, let me let me let me resume this here. What happened? No, right. Technical technical difficulties. Uh, 
Let's see. What do you got playing the rest of the day? I uh, went for a run this morning. And, uh, yeah. Getting a Zoom call later with some old college friends. Uh, but other than that, not too much. Catching up on uh, a lot of shows. But, anything good? Are you watching anything good? I started Peaky Blinders, which is, you know, got a line for that now. It's like five seasons. No, we just, we just finished McMillions on, uh, on Hulu. Not bad. That's good, yeah. It's definitely interesting. All right, here we go. Back to, back to rapid fire. All right, now we had the, we had the kid talking here. So now what's, what's Mac thinking in this photo? Oh, man. <laughs> Let me move this so I can see you. Max probably like, man, my partner is absolute lunatic. Wow, I haven't seen this photo. I really got to show him this one because this is, this kind of encapsulated in it's our relationship. We live together here in Charlotte, so he's um, at Darden right now. Um, he's somewhere, I don't know where he is, somewhere, but um, this is a great photo of pretty much our relationship because me just yelling and him just, you know, going like, geez, this guy's nuts, you know? I, I thought, I thought his it was job as a as an older guy on the team was to make sure I was calm, and uh, I don't think he was doing a very good job there. Uh, what, what's 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 this one? Who who is this directed at? <laughs> this was directed at the Oklahoma fans. I just won my match, and uh, I actually spiked the ball out of the facility right before this, right before I went up, and I actually got a code violation um for this which took a point from another guy in another court which i regret but i don't regret you know, talking a little smack to the fans because they were they were on me pretty good that match they, everyone thought that uh it was a good idea to you know try to you know make me angry because you know my mo is that i'm super emotional but if you talk smack to me that actually makes me play better so you know all right they didn't figure that out. Here's here's the number one. Yeah, this so that this is from the, the awesome sequence against Ohio State my senior year. Um, yeah, this this is one of my favorite photos. And then uh, I like this one. Just kind of I don't know. Looking yeah, on. yeah, this was a good one. You, you told me to soften, but yeah, this is. I look a lot older in these than I did early, huh? Really, really got old fast. Well, when you play, you know, 10 matches in 11 days, it ages you, I guess. <laughs> I look tired, you know? Yeah. Now, what's happening here? This is a good one. This is. <laughs> oh, wow. This must be. Oh, is this, this is probably before the match because none of us are sweaty yet. So, yeah, this is just me right before warm up. This is my freshman year. We're it rained in Athens, so we drove to Atlanta to play Baylor inside in the Georgia Tech indoor courts. Yeah, that was a fun day. Not at all. Yeah. It was terrible. I was, I was with our SID, Steve Kirkland, and he took – Yeah. Somehow we got on the – we started going the wrong way on the interstate on the trip back. We drove like 40 minutes in the wrong direction, so it was just like, oh. Not a good day. Not a good day. Summer storms. Yeah. There it is. The meme. <laughs> so this goes to our chat. Whenever someone says anything, anything shocking. But yeah, I can't believe you caught me in this photo. And I remember you always, um, we always would go on Facebook right after the match because you were really amazing about, we would finish probably at three and you'd have all the photos uploaded with all your with the match by like six or seven at night. So we'd all get back to the apartment and we'd go through the photos together. And couldn't believe that you put this one on Facebook with all the other good ones. <laughs> I was just, I wasn't sure what was happening. <laughs> yeah, just, I'm in total shock, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so good. Uh, it was good. Well, it's knee pain I was having during that match. That's why I have those things on my knees. Yeah. This was yes. Yeah, this was my favorite one. This was my favorite national championship because you know we we weren't supposed to win, 
we we got really close as a team between my first and second year. We didn't really have any new guys. It was the same team, and it's just a really amazing thing. And last, this is the last one I got in here. This is good. Yeah. So this was the only indoor title we won in my four, four years, and um, JC and I are both seniors, and we really want to put this on our resume, and he came – Came through like an animal that day and uh, clinched the match for us. So that was just the moment we shared there. And yeah, amazing that you captured it. I'm, I sent this to him on his birthday. Oh. Love it. But yeah, I think, um, I, you know, you talked about the controlling the emotions on the court. It was amazing to kind of see your progression from freshman year, you know, through your senior year. Yeah. That freshman year was pretty rough. I, I there were some times <laughs> I almost got kicked off the team, man. <laughs> Lucky to still be there and enjoy all these moments. But yeah, it's uh, it was fun. It was it was super fun to cover you and and the whole the whole team. Um, yeah, like I said no, I'm super grateful that you uh, be there with all these moments and them for us. My parents really appreciate it too, and I just think it's amazing if anyone in the athletic community knows who you are and you're such a big part of this community it's just uh awesome to share my four years with you and you know have so many times and just thanks for everything that you do you know i appreciate that yeah it's i'm starting year 15 whenever we do uh whenever we do get back so it's hard to believe wow. awesome. yeah getting super no, but this, is, this is a perfect thing that you're doing i think uh to pass the time get some other much cooler athletes than me up there so we'll see some of the other sports yeah i've got uh i've got a few on a few lined up uh i think morgan bryan i believe is gonna be my next call so oh nice i look forward to that one that'll be cool yeah so we'll uh i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to mix in you know alums and then get some current student athletes as well so yeah definitely fun but yeah i do appreciate you jumping on here with me and uh I'll let you run. I've taken up enough of your time, but. Uh, oh, good. Not a lot to do. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate it. Have yeah, a good rest of your day. Stay safe, and hopefully we can see you back out on the court soon. Yes, sir. See you soon. All right. Take care.